Hey guys, welcome back to Just Card Rob. And our skull guy here. Skull. Yep, put some more light on for you. Okay. We got our neck bones done. Neck bones connected to the head bone. The head bones connected to the uh, shoulder bone? I don't know. So we've been carving skulls. Haven't had much time to work on this stick, guys. Been busy with other things. Auto repair. Okay. <laughs> and we've got lots of, lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of skulls to carve. I think there's 14, and we've got two and a little bit done. Just started this guy. Figured I'd bring you along, show you how to how I do it. Okay, so uh, the star of this show is the SCM High Speed Air Tool. Okay, um, this is the tool I, I've mainly been using on this. Uh, I, ha I have used the micro motor a little bit, but most of the tool, most of the work is being performed by the SCM High Speed Air Tool. Because I've got a lot of skulls, and I want to get it done. Okay, so I will be back uh, with the voiceover. So, hang on, here we go. And here we are with the voiceover. Alright, so we've got our micro motor with a new diamond bit that we just got in the mail. Bought a whole bunch of them. There's like, I think I bought 30 of them for $15 or something. I think they were on a slow boat from China because it took forever, it seems like, for them to get here. Yep, so this is a skull that we're working on. And uh, we're doing a little shaping with the micro carver. And we have got a lot to do. Nice day today. It's like 78 degrees. Humidity's low. We had a big storm last night. More rain. More flooding. Don't know what's worse. The flooding, the COVID-19, or the riots. But that's a horse of another story. So... Uh, we're getting the teeth shaped up right now. Zoomed in a little bit. Working the nose in. And, uh, hey, I see uh, Jordy over there at Carbon Fusions making a, uh, what do you want to call it? A Grim Re Reaper. It's a scythe, Jordy. That's what it's called. A scythe or a sickle. He's wondering what the thing in the Reaper's hand's called. It's a scythe or a sickle. Jordy over there, Carbon Fusion. Yep. I've got this thing sped up, otherwise it's going to take forever. Be like 20 minutes of uh, boredom. Yep. Give a shout out to uh, Evil Evil Rick and to... Uh, Ben over there at Studio on the Lake. Hey guys, we're at like almost 800 subscribers to this channel. Do you believe that? A couple hundred more, we'll be at a thousand. So tell your friends, come on over. Subscribe to Just Carve Rob. If they want to. I mean, I don't think they're going to learn much, but heck. Have them come on over anyway. I always enjoy company. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, so yeah. Where did we leave off? Ben studio at the lake. Yep. Ben was making a cuckoo clock. I don't. I haven't seen no new videos from Ben, but Ben. Uh, Ben's working at night, flying helicopters around. And evil, evil Rick with his new trike, his new Honda Goldwing trike. Yep. Come on, Rick. Get your carving plate studio put together, buddy. Need more Evil Evil Rick videos. And uh, we got Cleve's Backyard Wood Shop. 
he's always fun to watch. Get a chance, go over and check out Cleve, Cleve's Backyard Wood Shop. The Rock of Ages USA. And of course, we always got uh, Doug Lenker and uh, Gene Messer. Carving legends in their own right. Well, Gene's been doing a lot of carving. And don't forget to check out uh, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers on Facebook, guys. Good community, good people, lots of carvers. Always joking around, always having a good time. So don't forget to stop by there if you get a chance or if you want, want to see some uh, other carvers carving. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm always posting stuff on there. I changed over to uh, a flame burr, a uh, metal cutting burr. Not too happy with it, though. Yep, see, not happy with it at all. So I figured we'd switch over to something else. You got to go through your toolbox. Got to dust all them bits off once in a while. See which one's going to work the best for you. You know. And I'm dawdling, dawdling, dawdling. Come on, Rob. Stop your dawdling and get to carving. What are you doing? Oh, there we go. This is a tungsten. It's a titanium. Yeah, titanium coated. Metalworking burr that Jordy Johnson from Carving Fusion sent us, along with some Avalon shell, and uh, what else did he send us? Oh yeah, those little tiny uh, dentist bits. Thanks, Jordy. Them things are great, man. Really enjoyed using them. Yep. I don't know what's going on here. Why am I so far out of frame? So, basically what we're doing is just rounding over the backside of the skull, guys. Because, you know, your head's round. So, we got to make it look round. And, uh, I'm probably carving these skulls in deeper than I, I should. Uh, normally, it's uh, like a low-relief carving. But, uh, you know, it's weird. In my camera, it shows this being in shot. You know, the, the carving is in view. But yet, when I download it to my editing program, guess what? The carving is not all that in view. So I guess I'm just going to have to hit aim more for the middle of my screen. I guess. So basically, we're just taking this uh, micromotor with that. It's a metal cutting bit. It's titanium coated. Uh, and they work really good for smoothing things out. And that's what we're doing. We're smoothing that forehead back and round. And we're going to work the eyes a little bit. And that kind of stuff. Um, so this is what this skull is looking like. I can't believe that we're not in shot. I got got to get me a new camera person. I don't know. Maybe when it translates... Uh, it breaks the footage down for the editing program that it's making it skinnier. It should be the same as what's on the camera though, right? Anybody got any clues, any tips? I don't. I guess I'm going to just have to shoot more for the center of the camera. I have a Panasonic uh, camera that I've been using. A regular, you know, movie camera type thing. Um, and for the most part, I really enjoy it. It has, puts out a lot better quality than the phone. It's uh, 4, 4K compatible. Even though we don't shoot in 4K, but we're shooting at 60 frames per second or per minute or something like that. So it's it's pretty good. See? Boy, that aggravates me. It probably aggravates you guys too. It's like... We came here to watch Carvin' Rob, and all we're getting to watch is your uh, the top of your uh, walking stick there, and your 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 lips are flapping. I know, I'm sorry, but at least it ain't all blown out like the, the remember the video before this one it was all like super bright light, but at least that actually had the carving in it. But then again, you couldn't see the carving anyway because it was all flooded out, blown out with light. Ugh. One of these days, we will get this right, guys. 
Uh, just hang in there with me. So this is a, uh, yeah, another skull. Jordy was yelling at me to put out video. Why aren't you putting out no video, Just Carve Rob? Uh, because I had been, I've, I had to work on a car, you know, so I could go to the store. Can't go to the store, can't get food, can't get food, can't get fat and happy. Can't get fat and happy, can't make videos because the wife's yelling at you, why can't we have no food? Because the car is broke. Well, you can't carve until the until the uh, car is fixed. So now the car is fixed. Just got done with it today. So, you know what they say, happy, happy, happy wife, happy life. So that's what I was shooting for. Happy, happy, happy. Yeah. And that's that burr I was telling you guys about. And at the ball part, it's also got a cutter. You know, the cutter actually, the cutting flutes actually wrap around the end. So it's pretty awesome. Ha ha, skullhead. All right, guys. So this is where we are. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six skulls done. Only what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six skulls done. So we only got six more to do. Or seven more to do. So share, subscribe, and like. And we will catch you guys on the next one. Be awesome, guys.